Hello, so let's try to solve some problems in monohybrid cross. So in mice, the dominant allele for eye color is black. So yung mas malakas na trait daw is yung black. So yung represent natin to using capital letter B. And the recessive allele is red eyes, small letter B naman. So if we have two parents which are both heterozygous for the trait, what will be the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring? So the first is we have to identify kung ano ba yung dapat natin i-cross na parents. And from this problem, you can see na yung parehong parent ay heterozygous. When we say heterozygous, meron tayong isang capital letter at isang small letter. So let's say this is for the mother and we cross it with another heterozygous, let's say galing naman kay tatay. Alright? So once you have determined the genotypes of the parents, you can now make your Punnett square. So kagawa lang kayo ng box. So like this. And then, ipupwesto nyo lang yung mga genotypes na nandiyo dyan. So, dalawa yan. Ang paglalagyan nyo is either dito sa gilid on the left side or sa taas. So, in this case, eto, ilalagay ko siya dito. And this one, dito naman. So, kahit saan nyo siya ipwesto, pwede naman yan. Then, the next step is you identify or you get to know the offspring. Yung mga boxes dyan sa loob, dyan yung ilalagay yung mga offspring. So, paano natin gagawin yun? You look at the first box. So, yung nasa unang box dyan, titignan nyo lang kung ano yung mga katapat niyang letters. Then, isusulat nyo lang. So, in this case, ang mga katapat niyang letters, yung nasa taas ay malaking letter B. At yung nasa, nasa gilid ay malaking letter B din. Then, you proceed with the next box. Bahala kayo kung anong gusto yung i-fill out na box muna. So, in this case, tignan natin yung katabi niyang box. Ang nasa taas ay small letter B at ang nasa gilid ay malaking letter B. However, as a rule, we have to write capital letter first since it represents a dominant trait bago natin isusulat ang small letter. Then, proceed tayo sa next. So, it's B and then B. And finally, ayan. Tapos class, once you are done filling out your Punnett square, ang next nyo naman is bibilangin nyo lang kung ilan yung mga genotypes. So, ito yung mga yan na nakuha ninyo. Bibilangin nyo kung ilan yung magkakatulad. So, isulat natin, ilan yung homozygous B. So, meron tayong isa. Tapos, ilan yung heterozygous BB. Meron tayong dalawa. And, ilan yung recessive. Meron tayong isa. So, once you have written these numbers, you can write the genotypic ratio, which is 1 is to 2 is to 1. And finally, sa phenotypes naman kayo, ano ba yung phenotypes dito? Dalawa lang naman, di ba? We have either black or red. And then, bilangin nyo lang, ilan yung black, ilan yung red. So, eto class, this is black, tama? And this is also black, yung in-underline ko. Therefore, 1 plus 2 is 3. And this one, this is the recessive one, meaning it's red. Ilan yan? Isa lang. Therefore, our phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1.